The man shot and killed by a Philadelphia police officer in Kensington during a traffic stop was laid to rest today. Friends and family honor the man who they say loved to work on cars, ride dirt bikes, and help his neighbors. CBS Philadelphia's Dan Snyder spoke with family members after today's service. Dan, what can you tell us? Jess, Natasha, family and friends grieving the loss of a man they call Junito. Many wearing Justice for Junito t-shirts to today's funeral. And family members and community activists that we talked with say they plan to continue to push until that justice is served. I know he's no longer with us, but... His name, we don't want his name to go in vain. Family and friends remembering the life of 27 year old Eddie Irizarry Thursday. Irizarry was shot and killed by police during a traffic stop on August 14th. Family members tell us Eddie was quiet, always around to help, and loved to work on cars. He would do anything. He was not afraid to just dig in and, and he'll figure it out. Whatever was wrong with the car, he would definitely figure it out. Police initially reported Irizarry got out of his car and lunged at officers with a knife. But days later, they announced body camera video showed he never left his vehicle before being shot. The changing story has left many questions unanswered for the family. He did not deserve this. This is not what a traffic stop should come to, ever. They're not the only ones looking for answers. We are angry. We are concerned and we're asking for justice. Now they're looking for city leaders to step up and rebuild trust with the people of the city. Yes, we want the community, the police in our community, but we also want to understand why this happened and why this continue happening and can we do something about it. Family members say today's funeral does not mark an end for them. They say they'll continue to fight until they get justice for their loved one. We will have a march. We are going to protest peacefully. But we do want to protest. We don't want his name to go in vain. Morales says they do have a protest plan for next week outside the district attorney's office. She says while she does have faith in district attorney Larry Krasner and the justice system, this is a case that they will be watching very closely. Dan Snyder, CBS News, Philadelphia. All right, Dan, thanks.